Let's see how to use this thing. Hi, this is Alessandro and welcome back to my channel. And today we talk about something new like Neurotech because in parallel to with future evolution like quantum computing, another revolution is most likely to occur earlier, even earlier, and it's related exactly to Neurotech. As indeed we have seen a lot of attention to the experiment from Neuralink, then other big companies like um, Paradromics is raising uh, 20 million dollars in seed funding and plus uh, Kernel at the same time in Canada is even getting to 53,000 millions for non-invasive uh, neuroscience uh, service technology. I am planning to do something with OpenBCI, OpenFNIRS, but I want to start with something easier with the simple EG device uh, I have. Not reinventing the wheel, as uh, you probably know, you can build your uh, own EG with simple, like uh, kitch even kitchen stuff. But let's start with a minimum of something ready. So this is the Muse. It's a nicely designed uh, device with a uh, few tensors, only for the frontotemporal uh, cortex. So not you cannot do much with this, but it's a good start. And it was originally designed to monitor if you are meditating or not. So I don't work with them, so I don't want to further promote them. Uh, but it costs, it's very affordable, like it costs a few bucks. And I will show later uh, how to read data with Bluetooth and then to do some kind of uh, stuff. So let's do it. And please don't forget to subscribe or like or comment or tell me whatever you want to say about this video. Musage is a EEG Bluetooth device and first of all you need something to connect it like a Blue Muse or Ovic Muse which I prefer uh, because um, once you install the required libraries you, and you install it it actually is possible for the version in Mac and, and Linux to don't have a specific dongle uh, but just use an, any kind of um, Bluetooth connection don't worry, I will put the link in the descriptions about this. Now, uh, once you install it, you can launch it and it's just writing Ubic Muse and you will see this uh, user interface. A, speci a special thing you have to care about is the light uh, blinking, which means uh, you are still pairing the device, so Muse is still in pairing. Uh, and once it starts being connected or paired, you will see that the light uh, will change. You see, the light will be stable, not moving like this. Now that we have paired the device, we can move on analyzing the data and reading and visualizing the data. This can be known in many ways, like uh, Lab Record is one of the one tools for mm, several uh, operative systems. Then there is a, a MATLAB toolbox like Muse UDP, or you can use the uh, Python libraries directly from uh, Uvic Muse, where, like here, I'm showing you, like, this is a simple example to read your data. Or alternatively, as I prefer, is to uh, use directly the um, LSS streaming, with some, which is also in Python. And you will see something like this. And now at this point you should put your device into your head and also don't forget to connect the streaming, otherwise it will still not show anything. Let's uh, check, uh, yes. So let's start the streaming and now you see these four uh, time series, uh, which represent four the four sensor uh, in the in the device as seen here. Now, if you want to do something more sophisticated, there is a, a, a better library in also in Python called MNE, which several tools to to do further analysis. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.